SmartUp is a three-year EU Horizon 2020 funded project. The aims of the SmartUp project were to help vulnerable energy consumers to fully realise the potential benefits of smart metering by empowering them to take control of and understand their energy use and to make positive energy saving behavioural changes. We did this by working across five member states. Um, these member states included the UK, France, Italy, Spain and Malta. We developed a tailored package of uh, resources to advise households and we designed a bespoke training course for frontline workers as part of the project. Uh, in Italy we delivered the Smart Up uh, working with a lot of stakeholders. Uh, one of the successes was in fact uh, the, uh, the fact that we managed to work at national level going from uh, the north uh, to the south uh, including also some uh, islands uh, and uh, we managed uh, this uh, by working with uh, also different type of stakeholders uh, from consumer associations to municipalities uh, so we covered not only ge geographically the entire country but also different type of stakeholders and thanks uh, to this, uh, we were able to address 960 uh, vulnerable households uh, and uh, deliver the advice to them. In France, to, to manage a project, we, we decided to work in a neighborhood of the city of Nice, who is a very poor neighborhood, and where we can uh, be able to identify um, a company that is uh, perfectly involved in, 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 the, in the district to, to be able to, to have the trust about, uh, from, from, the, um, from the customers. And uh, I think it's a very, uh, very important thing uh, to, to have and to get the confidence of, uh, of the customers. Uh, because uh, uh, we we will uh, in the project ask some some not personal but some some questions about the way of life, the way of manage their manage energy, and so uh, it is important to to have these partners uh, strongly involved in the life of the district. In order to deliver the Smart Up project in Malta, we managed to use uh, an existing uh, social network which was established by uh, the Ministry of, uh, of Health. And uh, basically, that involves uh, having 13 uh, satellite uh, setups in, in most of the Maltese islands that reach out to uh, the most deprived. Um, having such a structure implied that we could have access to around uh, 80, 90 social workers that are constantly meeting uh, the most deprived in order to uh, provide food under the FEAD, another European funded effort which tries to give food, to food packets to the most deprived. And this worked out like a charm. Um, uh, People do come to the centres themselves and that provided an opportunity to engage directly and try and recruit them into the drive for the project. In Spain uh, we were lucky and we worked together with the municipality of Barcelona and also together with a, a non-profit organisation called ABD and uh, in a pilot uh, considering uh, empowering plan and training unemployed people related to construction uh, and deliver all these advices directly uh, in, in the house. So that was a, a very successful way to deliver the project and we were really happy to do that. We delivered Smart Up in the UK by working with key stakeholders. Uh, these included housing associations and third sector organisations that work with vulnerable households on a daily basis and would be trusted intermediaries. We developed a bespoke training package which we delivered to these stakeholders and this enabled them to understand how to advise householders on making positive changes to their energy behaviours and also how to understand, interact with and get the most out of their in-home display. These stakeholders then recruited households and delivered a tailored package of support in varying combinations which allowed us then to test the impacts of that advice and to understand which combination was most effective.